recording. So this is the part one of our lecture sa, sa applications of derivatives. So in the applications of derivatives, there are uh, five types of uh, problem. So first is the equation of the tangent line to a curve. The next is the rate of change in natural sciences and social sciences. The next is the related rates. So this related rate is very uh, familiar for us because uh, it is used uh, commonly, especially when we have a tank. For example, uh, we are asked to find the tank here. Then the, the tank has a hole. So what happens is as you are given by one rate, for example, 7 uh, milliliter per second. So most commonly, the question there is how much how much the tank is how much the tank is decreasing no? or yung volume niya. Kaya tanong ko yung natitira dyan kung ano yung uh, kung ilang anong oras siya matatak, mauubos. So that is related rate. So our first topic would be this one. Uh, equation of the tangent line to a curve. So this is an uh, example of the equation of the tangent line. So when I say uh, equation of the tangent line, uh, you are going to use the point slope form. So if you're familiar with the point slope form, the, the equation for slope is y is equal to mx plus b. And the point slope form is the y minus y sub 1 is equal to mx minus x sub so basically, when we have already discussed the tangent line, no, is the line that that the tangent line is the line that is that touches the graph at one point. So this three over two here and three over two here is the point at which the line touches the function at one point. That's why it is called a tangent line. So. Uh, it is very important to take note of this formula y is equal to mx plus b and y minus y sub 1 is equal to m x minus x sub 1 because uh, in the problem you, uh, you, will, you will be asked to find the uh, slope of the tangent line. So what is the slope of this one? Uh, what is the thickness of this one? I mean, uh, in yung tinatawag natin. Uh, implicit differentiation. So another type of uh, application of derivatives is the uh, Lagrange optimization. So in Lagrange optimization, we are going to utilize the maximum and minimum. So when you say maximum and minimum, So going back, uh, when I say a uh, Lagrange optimization, uh, this is where you utilize the derivation by finding the maximum and minimum. So when you say maximum and minimum, uh, it is the uh, the optimum. For example, you have a 
uh, room and that room is called no so derivatives is used to determine uh, what is the optimum uh, space for the room such that um, ma maximize yung old no? then another type is the curve sketching i hope you are already familiar with this no? uh, because this curve sketch sketching is the what we call uh, the first and second derivative test so in your mind we discuss that. however in our first session we are going to discuss this one then tomorrow we are going to discuss this rate of change the next is related rates uh, if ever we finish this three madali lang naman to to medyo mahirap yung language optimization tsaka itong curve sketching no but for now we are going to first discuss the equation for the tangent line to okay so <clears throat> Implicit differentiation. So I think you are already familiar with this one, diba? Stariaya. Familiar ka na dito. And Ralph, you have already uh, uh, discussed this during your senior high school, no? But actually, implicit differentiation is different from uh, partial differentiation because partial differentiation, uh, you make y constant. However, uh, the case in implicit differentiation is different, no? Because when you say something implicit, what's that, what does it mean? Implicit. When you say something implicit, meaning you are you are stating uh, you are stating uh, a statement that is not explicit, diba? Hindi halata yung statement na yun na yun. So, so, dito sa differentiation, using, uh, when we say explicit, for example, we have a function y is equal to x squared minus 1. So, explicitly meaning to say uh, the y is isolated, the y here is isolated on the main function. So, this is the equation and the y is isolated. So, explicit kasi uh, directly ko sinasabi ko ano yung function ko. Okay, because uh, if you differentiate this, we can get uh, f of x is equal to x squared minus 1. However, not all the time, uh, the form of the equation ay hindi palaging uh, ganito. Diba? Kasi uh, some equations no, is uh, included dun yung y dun dito sa x squared minus 1. So, nakahalo si y. Hindi siya naka-isolate. So, that is what we call implicitly. So, when you implicitly, for example, this equation, uh, the y is uh, combined uh, with the x values. So, meaning to say the y is not isolated. However, uh, this y can be solved if we try to isolate this one. So, how we're going to do that, uh, if we try to uh, uh, isolate uh, y, we can get is x minus 1, x plus 1. So as you can see, the resulting uh, the resulting uh, function is not the same on the original. Unlike here, x squared minus 1 is the same on the original equation. Now, however, this function pala can be represented by another form, which is this one. Uh, just by isolating uh, y. So, you will get that one. No? So, yun yung tinatawag natin implicitly. Now, in, in differentiation, uh, normally, we do the explicit differentiation. Meaning to say, we directly find the dy dx of this one. However, in this implicit differentiation, the case is different because you are going to differentiate both sides. So if you are familiar, if you are, you remember the logarithmic, di ba ginagawa natin dyan? Uh, Tinidifferentiate natin si x, tinidifferentiate natin itong y, x, itong isang side. So yun yung pag-logarithmic differentiation. So yung logarithmic differentiation, that's a type of implicit differentiation. Okay? Any question? 
So, if... Formula yan, sir. Formula. Huh? Formula po yan, sir. No, this is just a form or representation of what explicit uh, function means. So, for example, we have y is equal to x minus 3. Is this explicit or implicit? Explicit. We have y is equal to 1 third x cubed plus 5x. Is this implicit or explicit? Implicit. Bakit implicit? And nandito yung y. So, this is explicit. Explicit pa rin. Kasi pag tinuha ko si f of x, ang sagot, ito pa rin, di ba? 1 third plus 5x. O, oh, ito pa na pag ganito. 5xy plus 3y is equal to 1. That's the answer. Oh, Mr. Ralph. Is this implicit or explicit? Ano yan? Implicit or explicit? For example, 6xy plus 3y is equal to 4x. So this implicit, this implicit. Implicit, yes, because yung xy is combined. So this one. Same pa rin, Jeff. Same pa. Implicit pa din. So ganun lang. Basta naka-isolate si y, explicit yun. Okay? So, in differentiation, if we try to explicitly differentiate what would happen, we are going to get this one, di ba? dy dx is equal to 2x. How do we get this one? If we try to differentiate this one, now we get dy dx is equal to d dx ng x squared minus 1, right? But how about what is the derivative of x squared minus 1? It is basically 2x. So we try to derive uh, directly. So yun yung normally na ginagawa natin. However, in implicit differentiation, you need to find the d over dx of this function and the dx of this side equation. Okay? So to give you an example, example, I use implicit differentiation to find dy over dx if 5y squared plus sin y squared is equal to x squared. So how are we going to solve that one? So we, if we try to solve that one, uh, we tend to derive both sides. So we will have the of the left side, 5y squared plus sine y. Then we are going to derive the right side ddx, x squared. So what's the answer? Basically, this is very simple, right? This is not partial differentiation. <clears throat> what would be the answer? We move the constant outside. So we will have uh, 5 multiply 2. Pwede ba siyang i-move na walang x kasi inanap natin ddx? No. O iba yung sa partial differentiation? Iba yun. Iba yun. Oh. So in this one, uh, we are going to derive this function but based on x now. However, x is x and y is still related, unlike on partial differentiation, y is constant. No, however, in implicit differentiation, hindi siya hindi constant yet. So if we combine that one, we are going to get 
d d x of y square plus d d x of sine y is equal to 2x. So why is this 2x? Because the derivative of x with e is 2x. So what would happen here? Ano natin ito gagawin? So in here, since you all know, di ba, pag hindi na rin tayo ng dx, tapos on y, what are we going to do? We just uh, derive the y itself. However, uh, we are going to multiply it with the derivative of the inside function du over dx, which is the y itself, no? and dy dx. So, ganun din yung mangyayari dito. No? What is the derivative of y squared? That is 2y. So, you are going to treat this y squared just like normal uh, differentiating x squared. So, normally, differentiating x squared is equal to 2x. So, that would be the same in d dx of y squared, no? 2y. This is different from the partial differentiation because in partial differentiation, y is constant. However, the difference is we are still going to multiply this with e y dx. And this is the derivative of y itself. And that y can be represented by y prime, okay? So if we have 5 multiplied to, what is the derivative of y squared? 2y. Okay, multiply to y prime. What, how about sine y? What's the derivative of that? That would be cos y. y. Multiply to y prime. It's equal to 2x. So basically, uh, you are just going to isolate y prime here. Isolate here. So when you isolate y prime, you are going to get 10y plus cos y is equal to 2x. Just like what I have said, you are going to differentiate and find the y dx. So you're just going to divide that to get y prime. Okay, yes. So that is very easy. So try to, uh, so this is the same in dy dx. Just input here. What if? May may x ya. So, paano po yung x prime at saka yung y prime? For example, ma meron siyang x, hindi lang siya y. Um, if we have cos xy, and if, for example, we have cos xy is equal to 2x, yep. for example, then you are asked to get the dx, di ba? So, this is equal to 1 sin xy multiply to the derivative of the inside function. So you're going to use product rule here. So what is the derivative of x? U. Derivative of u is equal to 1. How about derivative of y? I v is equal to y. Then dv is equal to the answer dy dx or y prime. So we try to multiply here, then we will get x multiplied to y prime plus y. So this is the answer. So I'm going to Product rule. Uh, how do you 
as vd. So this is u x. Ito yun. Dv. We have this one, y prime. Plus y. Okay? Which is v. So bakit walang d u? Kasi wala. So in this uh, scenario, um, this is quite difficult, no? but I would uh, teach you how to solve this one. So So example, uh, to, we are just going to get dy dx using implicit diff. So how we are going to utilize that implicit differentiation? So for example, we have ln x minus y. How are we going to derive that one? We are just going to let you be equal to x minus y. Oh, what is the du over dx, this one? What's the answer? What's the derivative of x? The derivative of x? Minus derivative of y. One. However, you're going to multiply that with the y prime or dy dx. So that's the answer. No? So here we have ln. So we all know that ln is 1 over 1 over u multiplied to du over dx. Right? So we copy the next equation. Uh, we let u again be equal to x minus cosine y, right? And if we have, and if we are asked to find the u over dx, so we will have the u over dx. Now, what's the answer? Ito. U. Di ba, meron tayong 3. U. 3 minus 1 times dd, u, ddx na itong x minus cosine y. So, what's the answer? We will have 3. Multiply to x minus cosine y means to two. multiply to the dx, the derivative of that. That is just one. Two or three? Huh? Huh? Three. 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 Minus cosine y. Cube. 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 Okay. Any question? So about dun sa LN? Hmm. How we are going to... Nasali ba natin siya? Yes, because we are going to derive this left and right side. This is just a scratch na no? itong part natin. The actual solution here is this one.
Okay. Okay. So if we substitute again, uh, we will have one. We will have one over u. What is our u? X minus y multiply to one minus y prime equal to three x minus cosine y squared multiply to one minus sine y multiply to sine y prime. Okay. Tama. Ay, what's the derivative of cosine? Negative sign. Negative sign. So, plus to. Kasi minus to. Eh, kung derivative niya yung negative sign, so plus yan. Okay? So, we're going to isolate y. So, how can we isolate y here? What do you think? How are we going to isolate y here? We are just going to multiply or combine. For example, combine this one. So if we have 1 over x minus 1, then you multiply natin siya sa minus 1 over x minus y multiply sa hinahanap natin, di ba? y prime. Then this is equal to 3 x minus cosine y squared multiplied to 1 plus sine y multiplied to y prime. So how are we going to isolate y prime? Mm. We are just going to what? Two. Oh, I'm not going to do In order for us to get Y prime. And I'm going to do it. Funny. Ang alin? Hmm. Another thing is, we are just going to substitute. I substitute, distribute. Hmm. Para mas mapasimple. So take a picture of that one. Then send that to DC. So I can have a copy of this. Of this formula. Okay. Send it to DC. Now, in the next page, kasi ako po. Okay. 
kulay pa rin. So, continuing. Now, we will have a 1 over x minus y minus 1 over x minus y multiply 2 y prime. This is equal to Times yan. Okay. So, we are asked to isolate this one. So, to isolate that one, we are going to distribute here to here. Para mamaya ma-isolate natin siya. So, if you distribute copy, One over x minus multiply to y prime. Change the color. Two. If we substitute, we will have 3x minus cosine y squared plus 3x minus cosine multiply to sine. My y pa to y multiply to. Y prime. Okay. So, paano natin siya pagsasama-samahin? For example, we have 1 here. We have 1 plus 2B equal to 3 plus 3B. How are we going to find B? Diba? Anong ginagawa natin? Sinilipat natin to si 3B dito. Then, nililipat natin si 1 dito. Isolate si B. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin dito. So, we are just going to group. Group. T. Y primes. On the left side. Okay. So, we will have negative 1 x minus y a prime then lilipat ko to I will have negative 3 x minus cosine y is here to sine y times y prime okay. then this is equal to 3 x minus cos y is here Then I'm, I'm going to replace this one to the other side. So I would have minus 1 over x minus y. So what do you think is our answer? Tama ba yung baka? Ano? Ano? Ano ang final? Hmm? Ano po ang final? Hindi pa. Kasi eh, you are going to find y prime. What are we going to do? We will isolate y prime here. So y prime multiply to negative 
by x minus y plus a minus three x minus cosine y squared sine y is equal to three squared. So to get y prime, how can you do it? Hanap natin to. Kasi hindi na pala kasi dito. Wala. Then we have the final answer is y prime is equal to ano mga yari dyan? 3 x minus cosine y squared minus 1 over x minus Then over negative y over x minus y minus three x minus cosine y squared sine y. So this is the so, uh, yung, yung sa right ay always ba nagiging uh, numerator? Hindi naman. Eh, mag-isolate ka eh. Diba? I did the divide. Yung dalawang na, example mo. Ha? Huh? Hindi, hindi. At yung, yung final answer na diba nagiging uh, fraction siya. Hmm. Tapos yung right side well, na right side ay always siya numerator, no? Depende. Yung position. It would depend, no? Since you are going to group to the left, eh. Tapos sa right side yung wala. Diba left? Dito yung y prime. Dito yung walang y prime. Okay? So, for example, may 2 ako dyan. Hindi para matanggal yung 2. Gagan yun ko. Walang shortcut dyan, pero you try to add. Okay? Interesting. So you try this one. I'll send also the PDF solution, including your assignment, in the previous day. Tanong. I-derive mo lang ito. Derive the left. Then you're going to derive the right side. Then, isolate y. Then find y prime, ganito lang. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, finding the slope of the tangent line. So, <clears throat> uh, uh, reviewing, uh, we all know, diba, the point slope form would tell us the equation of the point slope form and uh, this will tell us the equation of the point we are given with point and slope. 
So, in order for us to find the equation for the slope that is tangent here, uh, uh, we need to utilize the formula y minus y sub 1 is equal to m multiplied to x minus x sub 1. So, what is this one? This is the slope form, di ba? If we try to write y is equal to mx plus b. This is the slope. This b, what is this b? This is the one that touches the equation or function. Okay? Now, how are we going to derive y is equal to mx plus b from here? We just subtract para magkaway tayo. Then, subtract x. Okay, and then, lipat mo lang yung y sa bot. Okay? Now, continuing, uh, we will have Now, for us to illustrate that, <clears throat> uh, we are asked to find the slopes of the tangent line to be to the curve y is equal to x squared, x y squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is the curve. Okay? Now, we are asked to find the slope of the tangent line. So, the tangent line here is here. Then, you are asked to find the slope. So, basically, slope is just the derivative. However, we are given points to negative 1. Because if we get the tangent line here, we cannot approximate exactly. So, the given here are basically uh, the, the given here is the point here and here. So, we are going to see what will be the slope if paganito at what will be the slope if paganya. Okay, and one thing that we can do that is using the implicit different function. Okay, so to find the implicit differentiation of this one. So for example, uh, we have this function, right? Y squared minus x plus y is equal to zero. Then we are asked to find the dy dx. So, dy, hanapin muna natin si slope. y squared minus x plus 1 to dy dx ng 0. O ano bang dy dx ng 0? Hindi 0. So, ang tanong sa atin, hinanap sa atin yung dy dx. How are we going to do that? <clears throat> now, we are going to isolate no, no and this is also equal to y prime, right? So this is equal to y prime multiplied to y squared minus x plus b equal to zero. So derive this one. What's the derivation of this one? This is y prime multiplied to two y. Minus x plus, ay, minus 1 lang. It's equal to 0. So, to get uh, y prime, we are going to transpose negative 1. So, y prime times 2y is equal to positive 1. So, para mahuwa natin yung y prime by 2y. 2y. And we are going to get y prime is equal to 1 over 2y. Okay. So, this is our slope. However, this is not the value. This is a what? This is simply a. This is simply a equation. So, we are asked kasi kung ano yung slope ng tangent line. At this point, so what are we going to do? We are going to substitute, no? So erase, erase. So the step one here. 
Step one. Now implicit differentiation. Isolate, you see, isolate I prime. Then step two, substitute the values. Okay, and about mga values natin. Two, chak negative one. And divide on two is the x. This is x1, this is y sub 1, this is the second x, this is the second y. Okay, so how are we going to substitute that? So to get the slope of these two lines, so substitute lang natin yung value na to dito. Okay, dun sa nakuha natin. So since ang nakuha natin is 1 over 2y, when y sub 1 is equal to negative 1, what's the answer? Negative 1 half. Okay, ibig sabihin daw na yung slope ng function na to, no, ng line, ng, ng nagtatouch sa point na 2 at negative 1 ay negative 1 half. Di ba, pag negative slope, naka-right side. Now, what? Ah. But we implicitly differentiate this function. Then, after implicit differentiation, we try to isolate y prime. So, this y prime or dy dx would tell us the slope no, or derivative. Now, this is the answer for that. Now, in order for us to get the value for the slope, we are going to substitute those values here to here. Okay? Since wala namang x, eh, this is y negative 1 lang sa substitute ko dito. So, since n y1 is equal to negative 1, then my slope for the tangent line here is negative 1 half. Now, for a question. For the other one, 1 over 2y, when y sub 2 is equal to positive 1, the answer is 1 half. No, so pag 1 to, 1 half yung sagot. Okay? Gets na? Okay, how about this one? Now we are asked to, <clears throat> this is the, what we call the volume of Descartes. No? So I think function is x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 3xy. So pinapahanap tayo na ng <clears throat> equation for the tangent line. Ano nga equation ng tangent line? Yung point slope form, di ba? Meron ba tayong point? Meron. Ito yung point mo. So, point slope form is equal to y minus y sub 1 equal to m. What is this m? The m is the slope. Okay? x minus x. Okay, so dito muna tayo sa una. In partially differentiate muna natin siya. No? So, x cubed dx. Inside function. Um, x cubed plus y cubed. D, 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 X lang nasa loob. Sabi nasa loob. 3, X. Okay? So, yun yung step 1 natin. Hanapin muna natin si 
dyd. So, now, it's the derivative of this one? x cube is is 3x squared plus this is 3y cube multiply to y prime. Cube? Huh? I squared pa na. So this one, what would happen in this 3xy? We will have a product rule, di ba? So this is u, this is v. Tama? So we'll copy 3x, multiply sa derivative na ito. Naman derivative ng y. y prime, di ba? Plus y copy, multiply sa derivative. Okay. Diba? This is u dv 3xy. u is equal to 3x. What's the u? 3. Or what? v is equal to y. What is dv? y prime. No? So cross multiply u dv 3x y prime to my own. y 3 3. Okay. So, ayan. Mano na natin. Nakuha na natin. So, if we have a... Uh, ano sabi ko kanina? Isolate. Y prime. So, in order for us to isolate Y prime, we are going to group all of the Y prime here. So, 3 Y square times Y prime. Ano pa yung y prime dito? Ito, di ba? So, ito transform is called negative. Lipat nga ako sa kapatid. Sir, papasok daw si Kumindo daw. Ako, wala siyang pumasok ako. Patapos na. <laughs> ah, patapos na. Ayan. Napapansin nyo ba bakit ang tahimik ko? <laughs> Ayaw magpahalata. Ano? Oo. Ayaw magpahalata. <laughs> Magkaaway nga si Tadabu nanay ko. Ay, Tadabu tatay ko. Ayaw ko sa kanila. Eh, nasa kwarto yung tatay ko. So, hindi ako makapag ano. Tawag doon. Hindi ako makarecord dito sa loob. Eh, kung nag-aawin itong nanay tatay ko, lagi naman nag-aawin. <laughs> What a happy family. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Dahil nasa kwarto na ako, I can now talk. Kanina, English-English pa ako. Eh. Hirap na hirap na ako. Tinan nyo. Hirap na hirap na ako mag-English. Tama ba itong grammar ko? Okay, let's continue. So, dito, di ba, ang pagka-differentiate natin, Malamang i-isolate natin, di ba? So, igugrupo ko lahat ng y prime. 
So here, meron akong 3y squared times y prime, di ba? May y prime din ako dito. Men, dador, pasok ka pa. So, na yun? Karang pumasok? Sige na. Tapos na. Ay, sir. Okay lang yan. O, oh, minus 3xy prime is equal to formal kami kanina formal. Kasi yan. 3, that if 3x squared plus 3y, no? Tama ba? So, we are going to isolate y prime here. So, we will have 3y squared tama ba? Minus ano yung tsura pag nawala yung y prime? 3x, no? Yes, sir. 3x. Okay. So, kunin natin si y prime. Bayan mo, gaawi sila. Ngayon pa talaga yun. Eh. <laughs> so, meron tayong negative 3x squared plus 3y over 3y squared minus 3x. Okay? So, paano natin mapapasimple yan? Anong ipapactor out natin? Pantok na alagay ha? 3. 3xy? Ha? Ay, 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 3. 3. 3 lang. Diba? Ako sinabing tayo? 6. Ah, binina ako. <laughs> Negative 3, diba? Ah, 3 na lang, no? So, magkakaroon tayo ng ano? 3 here. Ilabas si 3. Yan. Tapos x squared. Negative x squared plus y. Tama? Tama ba? Yes, sir. Tama. Then, isolate ko si 3 din dito. Then, we will have 3y squared minus x. No? X. Then, we can, can cancel 3 na lang. So, ito yung ating final equation sa dy dx. This is why prime is an informal thing, no? Bakit siya informal? Kasi ang tama talaga dyan is dy dx. I am just using this one or gamitin nyo sa scratch nyo uh, because para mas magkasya sa whiteboard natin or sa papel nyo. Okay? So, finally, we get the uh, dy dx no? using this one. However, uh, that is not uh, complete. no We have already answered the first question. However, in the second question, we are asked to find the equation for the tangent line at 3 over 2, 3 over 2. So, this volume of Descartes is this uh, no, uh, equation, diba? And this, just like what I have said, this tangent line touches at this point, diba? Kasi yung tangent line, pwede naman siya mag-touch dito, diba? So, yung problem is specific. No? Pinapakita niya kung saan talaga nagtatouch si line. No? Kasi pwede, pwede ako magka-tangent line here. Pwede ako magka-tangent line here. But since the problem tell, told us, or tell us, ano ba ang tama? Tell, told. Since the problem tells tell us, us that this 3 over 2 here, so hanapin natin ngayon kung ano yung equation ng tangent line. Ayan. No? So para mahanap natin yung equation, of the tangent line that is just equal to ano nga ba yung ano nating equation dun? y minus tandaan nyo lagi yan ha? y minus 1 y sub 1 uh, m x minus x sub 1 so what is our y? wala di ba? equation nga yung hanapin natin eh but we have y1 di ba? what is our y1? This is our 3 y1. over 2. Yeah. 3 over 2. It's equal to m. What is our m? Wala tayong m. Pero meron tayong x ba? Wala rin. Pero meron tayong x sub 1 which is 3, 3 over 2. Now, a while ago, uh, we are, uh, we find no, the slope which is this one. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? ang slope natin ay y prime, di ba? Is equal to, balikan nyo, ito o. Oh. 
negative x squared plus y over y squared minus x. Tama. Ngayon, sa substitute nyo ngayon yung value natin dito. No? So, para makuha yun, ang gagawin natin? Lagyan lang natin ang negative 3 over 2 squared plus 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 squared minus 3 over 2. Now, type that on your calculator. What's the answer? Negative 3 is the answer. Negative 3 is the answer. 3 over 2 squared. Mm -hmm. 3 over 2. How much I got? My answer is negative 1. Did you get the same? Sir, wait lang. O, para mapadali buhay nyo, pagkuha nyo ng calcul, di ba, yung calculator. Ano yung mahaba dyan? 3 over 2, di ba? Ilagay nyo na agad dyan. 3 divided by, ay, 3 divided by 2 equals, pindutin nyo yung answer. O, di ba? May nakastore na dyan. So, negative answer squared plus answer over answer squared minus answer. The answer is negative 1. O, di ba mabilis? Hindi yung itatype nyo pa. Hindi pa yung itatype type nyo pa yung isa-isa yung ano. Sir, tama. Negative 1 din sa akin. O, di ba? Panis. Panis. Yan lang yun, no? So, meron na tayong slope. So, makukompleto na yung pamilya ng ano natin. Equation ng tangent line, which can be y minus 3 over 2 is equal to negative 1 x minus 3 over 2. So, this is the equation of the tangent line. Uh, if you want to write it, pag sinabing standard form, find that standard form equation. Ano ba yung standard form natin? Y is equal to mx plus b, di ba? So, paano natin gagawin yon? We are just going to isolate this y, di ba? Ito yung y ko. Y equal to negative or una yung una i-solve na sa parenthesis. Ayun, oo. Oh. Ay, hindi na. Negative. Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Negative x tapos plus 3 over 2, ano? Tapos oh, plus 3 plus over 3 2. Over two. Okay? So, meron na tayong y is equal to tama, y. tama. Negative x plus, x plus 6. 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Ay, mali pala. 3? Oo, oh, 3. Mm-hmm. So, this is the answer. So, ito yung y is equal to mxb plus form na form, ha? Now, for your assignment, teka lang. Maghahanap ako ng problem na medyo. So, dalawa lang assignment nyo, no? For tomorrow. So, dalawa yung assignment namin? Oo, oh, yung kanina, di ba? Yung isa, no? Para kayo yung practice. Yung kanina, tatlo. Tapos, so, <laughs> Para kayo ay ma-practice. So, ipapasolve ko sa inyo yung tangent line na slope ng tangent line gamit ang uh, yung ano, Lamier Special Quartic. No? Lamier Special Quartic. Ito lang naman. Bibigay ko naman yung graph para kayo ay may idea ano yung magiging sagot nyo. Tsaka itong nahanap ko pa yung isa. Okay, pa-exam ko na lang kaya yung isa. Take ko na din, no? Ano ba? Ito, trisect. Teka na. 29. Yun, yung Lemnis Kate.
para kayo ay may idea na na-apply niyo yung ating uh, So, ipapost ko ulit yung assignment nyo. Ano yung assignment nyo, di ba? Meron kayo assignment sa partial. Ipapost ko ulit yung sagot. At saka, sir, yung record para kay Madam Kuminda. Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh. Hindi rin naman manunood yan. Mas <laughs> so, manunood ako. <laughs> okay. Parang... Itong, hindi mo manunood yun, hindi ko na i-upload. Tsya. Ano sa yan? <laughs> Nahanap ko pa yung isa. Ayun, nakita ko na. Itong lamye, tsaka. And lemmies. Pag-aaralan natin to sa integral, ha? So, kung ngayon, ang pinahanap natin yung slope sa integral, ang hahanapin na natin is yung area ng polar curve. So, medyo mahirap yun. No? Pero, sige. Teka lang, send ko lang sa akin. Nawala si, nawala si rin yung sure, no? Ayan na, nasyad ko na sa GC. Sige, enter screen. Oh, any question? Ito yung point. Diba yun yung point? Tapos ito yung uh, equation. pinapahanap sa inyo yung slope ng tangent line. You can use uh, slope lang yan. Tsaka yung equation ng tangent line. Dali lang yan. So this is what we call the Lamia special quartic. No? So ito yung function na na ang maximum point niya ay 2 at negative 2. Ito naman yung lemnis gate na tinatawag. And this lemnis gate, we're going to study 1 when we go to... Saan ba tayo pupunta? Pag nagpunta tayo na... Uh, tawag doon? Pag nagpunta tayo na... Uh, polar curves, di ba? Yun yung polar coordinate system, no? So, ito pa yung isang yung assignment. Ito, oh, yan. Ba sinabi ko yan, assignment niya? Daming assignment siya. Kasi nga, practice makes you improve. Ah, yun yung makakapagpana siya. Anong mas maganda? White background o ganitong background? Anong mas trip niyo? Isang oras ko pinag-isipan yun. Ano kayong mas maganda sa mata? Sa likod mo? Hindi, itong ano, PPT. Mas maganda yung color at lunga si hindi siya white kasi parang masakit sa mata. So, ganito. Ganyan. Okay na yung ganyan. Ganda, ano? Yes, sir. Opo. Oh. Wala akong makita, sir. Tuloy yung sarili. Tulang Pero wala po akong makita. <laughs> Bulag ka? Kasi oh, ano, GC? Ay! <laughs> Hindi ko pala siya ni-share screen. Can't share your oh, screen. Okay. Ano ba? Kaya't... Parang gago. Salita ako ng salita dito. Ayan, sabi ko. Ito. Ayan yung assignment yung diba? Pati yung isa. Ayan, mas okay yan siya. Maganyan ang emoji mo. Hanapin mo lang yung slope. Our next step, so to preview you, to give you a preview of our next topic is, eto, ayan. Ayan, tapos na tayo dyan, di ba? So, hmm, ganun din. Mas mahirap pa nga yung event ko. 
dito uh, i-discuss natin tomorrow yung mga ganitong problem no so related so kunyari merong shield tapos uh, ininit yung shield di ba so ano daw yung rate no ng na lumalak yung shield pag iniinitan yung ganun yung mga problem ng related rates no kunyari etong ladder So, nasa board exam to, ha? Yung mga ganito. Kaya ano pong class yung master sa board exam? Nalabas to. Ito mga triangle na yan. Ladder. So, anong mangyayari daw kapag itong ladder eh, bumaba ng bumaba. Ganun. So, ito naman sa cylindrical tank, ano? Diba? Parang tinatanong dyan, uh, paano mabilis maubos yung tubig? So, ginagamit na ng derivatives. However, in chemical engineering kasi, uh, itong mga ganitong problem can be solved by derivatives. However, meron, uh, in our subject, meron kami ang mga problem sa amin is kantong tangke. Eh, no? May tangke. Eh. Tapos, merong butas dyan. Tapos, may tangke eh pa ulit dito. Tapos nahulog yung tubig dyan, di ba? Tapos may butas pa ulit to. Tapos tangke ulit. Ganun. Ganun sa KMN, no? Ang ginagamitan niya na ang tinatawag nating Laplace Transform. Pag-aaralan natin yan sa Differential Equation. Ayan yung mga ganyan. At time t, anong oras makupuno itong ano? Ganun. So, ang tawag doon is process control, no? So, eto basic lang to. A basic physics okay, problem. Kung una siya mapupuno yun sa pinaka... Dulo. Kunyari, at time oh. T, di ba? At time, uh, after one hour, sino unang mapupuno? Mga ganun. So, mahaba-habang solving yun. So, ganito muna yung mga simple muna tayo. Bukas. Okay? So, I'm gonna post the recording na lang. So, see you tomorrow. I'll post ulit the PDF file to check your answers, no? Ayun na, mag-check na. Para... Tapos, handwritten ko ulit. O, di ba? Para, pag may tanong, PM lang, no? Yan, ayaw na mag-cross. Yung PDF, sir, hindi ko nag-post kasi ng PDF plus. Mm-hmm. Meron ah. Nag-post ka. Pero Ay, hindi ka nag-post, no? Hindi. Parang handwritten yung sa 8 modo. Ewan Ayun ko. Ayun PDF na yun. Ah, okay. O, di ba? Ayaw ko manood ng manis. Boring daw, sabi. <laughs> sabi lang. Nababasa ako ng ano. So, may kinasi ulit tayo bukas. So, sana matapos na natin yung ano, no? Difficult. Okay? So, I'm gonna stop the recording.